This is the retailer, the brand and retailer success story. They say teamwork makes the dream work. And the acronym, the uh, team expanded says, together everyone achieves more. And that's exactly what brands and retailers have been doing to script their success stories. So today is about great teamwork between brands and retailers. We have two members of a jury who are here. He is founder of Zard Venture. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Dhiran Kanwar. Can we have a round of applause? She is Vice President, Consumer Analytics, Frost and Sullivan, Middle East, Asia and South Africa. Please welcome Nandini Kelkar. We have other members of the jury who will be joining us shortly, hopefully. Director of Retail Multiplier Brand Solutions, Abhijit Das, and the partner at Kearney, Subhendu Roy. They hopefully should be joining us during the presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very tight on time, and we are also late, so we are even tighter than ever on time. Every team gets exactly three minutes to make their presentation. And when I say exactly three minutes, we will be very strict. We will ring a buzzer at the end of three minutes and every 10 seconds thereafter. Okay, so please do wind up at the three minute buzzer. Thereafter, it's over to our jury who will ask each team a question. And we have, if you don't believe that we are strict on time or tight for time, we are even going to give the jury a buzzer at the end of two minutes, okay? So we are going to be strict on that. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's ready for the action. Can we have a round of applause for all of you, our partners, our success stories, and ladies and gentlemen, it's time for action. So if you're ready to rock, we are ready to roll. Our first team making the presentation, and judges, please note, this may not be in the order on your list, is Bikano and Smart Bazaar. They are number two on your list. And I'll invite Mr. Ajay Kocher, Brand Manager of Dukano, and Ganesh Dare, Senior Category Manager of Reliance Smart, to come up and make their presentation. Dukano and Smart Bazaar. So the presentation title, uh, Gaining the Trust of the Consumer on a Traditional Product in a Modern Way. Uh, just a little background about Bikano. Bikano is from the house of Bikanirwala. We started the brand in 1988. We basically deals in uh, snacks and sweets category. Uh, so uh, from, a, from an idea to a product to a, a gifting solution, uh, Kaju Katli basically, uh, which Prasanna Sar was talking about uh, a few minutes later, uh, basically used to sell in a loose form previously, before 2018. So there was an idea that it was nowhere closer to modern trade. So how we can sell this product in modern trade uh, the thought was, was there uh, before 2018, uh, but there were many challenges, uh, which, uh, uh, yeah, can you can take. Good afternoon, everybody. So there was this big challenge, traditional mithai, okay, how do we sell it in modern format? Will the customer trust me? What will the customer think? Ye jo kaju gatli hum open ya lose mein kharikte te hamare pyare halwai se, this modern trade mein jab mein lunga, will it give me the same taste? Ye jo ek trust factor jo customer ka tha, how do we win that? That was the biggest challenge we had. <clears throat> now, what we did is, we, along with the brand, we converted this challenge into a biggest opportunity of sweets. So the challenges were, Kaju Katli has a very high moisture content. Precisely that is the reason it is low shelf life. Sold only in loose form, Till few years back, abhi tak customer ne kabhi bhi pack mitai kharidi nahi thi. Low shelf life. Then the this gives me gives us very big opportunity that kaju katli, despite being the premium mitai, it was not available in the premium gifting format. So as a modern trade player, you know it 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 was a low hanging fruit for me. So. Kaju Katli is again the most sought after Diwali gifting solution and uh, uh, the biggest opportunity here is uska jo price hai, uski jo ASP, average selling price is almost 1000 rupees a kg compared to any other mithai which is you know, 200 rupees or a 300 rupees kg. So as a retailer obviously this gives me a bigger benefit. So what we did jointly, 
Now we had n number of rounds between the R&D teams of brand as well as a retailer. We had a lot of you know, options and recipes made with the technical team of the brand. We also spoke many times and, you know, uh, and discussed the packaging option, suitable, most suitable packaging of option for different, different occasions. And this was launched in select stores. We studied that, we got a lot of feedbacks from the consumer, from the state teams, from the brand team, and then the course correction happened. A small example is that initially it was called Kaju Barfi, but then the name was changed to Kaju Katli so that you know, it, it can connect with the masses or the general public, uh, consumer. Uh, so what we did in the product, first of all, we enhanced the shelf life. Previously it was uh, with the seven days. We enhanced the shelf life to 45 days. Uh, we used map technology to pack this product to keep the taste intact. Apart from this, we launched the product in tin pack, which is also reusable and act as a, uh, as a, as a branding tool uh, while in the homes. Also, it, it helps in you know, uh, making the product damage free. Uh, so this I'll skip, I'll jump to the results. So we launched this in 2019. In 2020, we'll be able to sell 2x units compared to 2019. And when we expanded vertically as well as horizontally, in 2022, we have been able to sell 10x units. Apart from this, uh, we created a new gifting uh, category, uh, uh, which was available Pan India. Uh, the average billing value was up by 25%, and the premium suite share reached to 25% for this product. So that's all from our side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And over to our jury. So, so after this, is there one product, or have you also added more products to the same uh, category? No. Uh, it is just one product, Kaju Katli, uh, in a different pack sizes, but basically aimed at Diwali gifting. Got it. Thanks. OK, thank you very much. Let's put our hands uh, together for Bikano and Smart Bazaar team. We move on to our next team, Coca-Cola and Limash. Coca-Cola and Limash. We'll have Akshay Kumar, Associate Manager, Coca-Cola, and Vidisha Chandra, AGM, Marketing and Digital. Limash, do kindly make the presentation. Hello, everybody. I'm Vidisha from Limash. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Akash from Coca-Cola. So can you please take it to the first slide? Can you take it to the first slide, please? So the, the collaboration between Lamash and Coca-Cola was all about giving the best engagement to the customers coming in the store in order to maintain that ecosystem because to, to, towards the depth and the width of SQs that are listed and the brands listed in the retail chain, how do we give that better engagement to the consumer? And in that, say, we collaborated with Coca-Cola to prom promote trips in terms to give the better reach to the consumer. And there was an activity wherein we display, there, where there was a mocktail bar set up in our uh, store, and there was a mixologist engagement happen. The customers can come in in the stores and ask for various uh, variants available, do the mixologist, engage with the mixologist in making the recipes and everything, and have the tasting availabilities on that. Not only that, the free samples of mocktails were provided to the consumer. Apart from there, there was a lot of branding activities that happened within the stores, wherein the Lamash uh, employees and also the, and also the uh, Coca-Cola team were wearing co-branded T-shirts, and these T-shirts were also uh, circulated within the customer base. Along with the masterclass, there is a a year-long partnership that we have with Coca-Cola, wherein there are various touch points, not only in our brick and mortar space, but also across various omni-channels presents, which also includes the aggregator, so that these products are listed around then, and we can give them the better visibility and reach. Apart from that, there we uh, uses our in-house chefs better culinary skills to incorporate these SKUs in our beverage menu, and do a lot of regress, uh, aggressive uh, uh, sampling techniques so that there is better reach to customers in terms of customer engagement, customer acceptance, feedback, and taking into a role on and feedback or activities and making changes to our menu. So these is, this is the joint business plan wherein not only uh, Schweppes, there's Coca-Cola, there is Smart Water, which is completely displayed across various touch points in our retail space. 
social media presence wherein we call in the customers to come in and engage in our uh, overall activities, which happens on weekends and there are about 10% growth in the ABP, there's 10%, also there's about a good percent of growth in the walk-ins. I think more? Yes, thank you. I'll quickly take 30 seconds to sum up our relationship uh, as a brand with Lemarche. Uh, so two things stand out. One is their openness to uh, any and every idea which we come up. So this Shep's uh, mixology sessions which we're planning, it was intended uh, for the on-prem channels. Uh, we thought why not do it in a retail chain and Lemarche was the most keen to do it. Uh, so that's one. The second is their neck break speed of executing any idea from an idea to exactly that being replicated in the store. So much so that uh, uh, more often than not, we as a brand become the bottleneck and we are working towards improving that. So uh, really, really thank you for this partnership to the whole Dermarsh team. Thank you. Thank you very much. And over to the jury. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so when you mentioned that uh, the walk-ins were increased because of uh, this particular initiative, is it only because of this initiative or whether the store had anything else also which you can actually attribute your walking? So uh, okay. basically there's a lot of marketing activities happen in terms of such engagement activities as there. So we call out our customers through WhatsApp broadcasts, we call out all our uh, various others uh, through newspaper advertisements and also through social medias. And there is an increase in walk-ins only because of the mixologist activities that's there and the new launches that we do with the product and the facing available. And usually targeted on weekend because obviously we get then an organic walk-ins that time. But when there is a call of active, when we call it out in a better way, there's always a better reach to it. And on a specific brand shops, ma'am, we increased our numbers from uh, to our 4x uh, growth numbers in 2022 basis that. So it was a, a more wider act, but this the in-store in activation was the key key lever of it. Yeah, yeah, all sorts put together. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for Coca-Cola and Lamash. Thank you, Akshay and Vidisha. Let's move on to our next team presenting Coca-Cola and Geomart. Uh, we have Harish Ayer, customer and commercial manager Coca-Cola with uh, Rajiv uh, Dube, business head beverages Geomart. Over to... Rajiv couldn't make it today, so I am Lakshman uh, and I manage brand engagement. So yeah, uh, I manage uh, brand engagement for the platform and uh, we will not talk. We'll have a Navy uh, do the talking for us and at the end of it, we'll just take questions. What happens when lakhs of Kirana owners come together on one platform at the same time? History is created in more ways than one. Reliance Geomart Partner is proud to bring the first of its kind B2B life commerce to the Indian business ecosystem. Hosted on the Geomart Partner app, the live commerce event saw Coca-Cola launch its Coke Zero drink exclusively with our 5 lakh plus Geomart Kirana partners, giving them first access to the product along with some specially curated deals. The live commerce event witnessed a massive participation from 1.5 lakh Kirana owners nationwide, who registered and joined in for the Coke Zero launch on the Geomart Partner app interacted with brand representatives and made purchases during the live event. A powerful testimony to the reach and scale of the Geomart partner and its innovative use of digital technology. Big, big congratulations to Geomart partner and Coca-Cola for coming together for this one-of-a-kind event for the launch of Coke Zero Sugar. Woo! From finalizing the details to training and deploying our customer service officers, the pre-event activity generated a lot of curiosity and buzz among the Kirana owners. After all, this was the very first time they were going to be a part of such a massive brand launch. Coca-Cola company has launched product with us. We feel good. It's the first time it's happening in our country. Yes, it's a big company. It's a big company. At the end of it all, the attempt and the effort paid off. Covid की वजह से यहाँ मिलना नहीं हो पा रहा है. Jio Mart और Coca Cola company ने इतने हजारों किराना owners और एक मंच पर लाया. Jio Mart अनेकों Coca Cola चाय event में दिया मिल बाढ़ दिला. 
खूप छान वाटली इव्हेंटमध्ये ऑफर चांगली होती आम्ही माल मागवला दुसऱ्या दिवशी माल लगेच भेटला आम्ही जिओ मार्ट किराणा पार्टनर तरफ थे आपल्या सबाई के असंख्य धन्यवाद जाणाचे It was a proud moment for the organizers too who brought together thousands of merchants big and small on the Jio Mart partner app to listen interact and make purchases conveniently and at just the click of a button People across India are spending more and more time every day on their phones communicating and absorbing content and in this context there's so much potential for innovation with social commerce and live streaming And this partnership between Coca-Cola and Jio Mart partner on this first of its kind B2B live commerce event really brings this potential to life in the Kirana ecosystem and that's what's particularly exciting. It's a really unique way of engaging that you can't even imagine happening offline. So if you look at India India resides literally in the villages the you know uh, more than a 60,000 accessible villages the small tier 3 tier 4 towns and then come the metro and I'm intentionally or deliberately speaking in that order so this live stream event as long as there is you know a mobile connectivity i think this kind of uniform message brand messages can go down to the smallest of kiranas and that is really the power of this live stream event i think this should provide for a lot of brands to come forward and really participate and use this platform along with geomart partner today it's 1 lakh tomorrow it can be 1 million in an increasingly digitized world and with the covid-19 pandemic posing its very own challenges jio mart partner is proud to empower our buyers and vendors to adapt and adopt this new way of doing business jio mart partner live commerce helps you inform educate interact influence and sell better on the partnership which we build from coca cola side with jio mart partner and launching the first ever live stream in india in the fmcg especially in b2b how different is this uh, platform from any b2c platform where, where, what is so special about it when you are operating on the platform or is it just the same as any b2c uh, digital buying platform apart uh, from people who are uh, contributing the platform are when i'm mean, not vendors but uh, b2b uh, suppliers so these are the a b2b platform is intended towards the kirana outlets so in a traditional fmcg when you have launches you have the feet on street going to the outlet and explaining them on the launch and generally many of among of my colleagues will believe this the launches in fmcg takes around 15 to days to 3 weeks or more for the messaging to land in each and every kirana of the country so live stream is an opportunity where we could interact with around 5 lakh retailers we could spread the word of mouth there 1 lakh could attend and everybody could see at the same time and uh, abs- a clear cut messaging going down from the organizers from the brand to the retailer on the product and its attributes just to add because the person is a reseller he is not consuming so he is not making choice for himself but for a catchment so the way we communicate with that person is very different Uh, what probably has not got missed out in this is that the, we created a platform for him to engage from a way that he was doing commerce on so he is used the app to buy his supplies every day uh, it's from this platform that we created this entire uh, you know pull out where he could watch content that inspired him to buy because he understood there's a catchment for the product and they would bought bought it in the same journey and that's the bigger innovation addition to it being something that is video led and very very convincing Thank you very much Thank uh, to you. Harish and Rajiv and Coca-Cola and Geomart. Our next at this point in time we'd like to welcome on our jury Mr. Tarak Bhattacharya from Mad Odona. So well warm welcome to you sir. As we move on to our next team Cornitos and Smart Bazaar Mayur Sharma sales manager MT Cornitos and Johnson John assistant vice president and category head Reliance Retail. Hello good afternoon everyone Hi good afternoon uh, we can run the AV now What do you see What can you see now This is a story of a roaring success the union of two giants that led to a stellar group 
Here's giving you a sneak peek of a partnership that lends no progress to radical success. Reliance is a very valuable partner for us. We have planned JPP with Reliance. We have successfully completed JPP with Reliance Retail last year, even 40%, 43% growth even. To achieve this goal, we have to do lots of activities, increase visibility, store sampling, like spin and wheel games, some article extension, correction, MDQs and all. And uh, we have found lots of more opportunities in Reliance Smart Bazaar. Basically, uh, we have to add, take an advantage and more aggressive GDP in this year, 2022 and 2023. So now we are planning for 302, over 300% growth in this year, uh, increasing stores day by day. So some natural growth also happens, but we have driven this to maximum growth level and we are on the right road of success. We have completed more than 55% of JVP in this year. So keep growing. Snacking is fun, joy and happiness for a lot of customers. In this journey of making it as a destination category for our shoppers, Cornetos took up the joy and partnered with us extensively to drive in-store activations, sampling, co-creating new packs, driving in-demand innovation and online activations across, capturing all aspects of category and brand development. Finally, it led to 3x of category sales, higher ASP, making segments premium so popular bringing new consumers to the category, definitely creating a lot of crunch. Uh, thank you, thank you uh, for showing the AV. Uh, just to add two more points over here, in addition to the AV, what we all see here, uh, the kind of uh, growth what was done in the last year was close to 45 vote percentage, but this year the plan is around 300%. And I would like to add uh, two more points what we have done. One, the kind of live sampling in the stores, which led to high penetration of the Western snacks or the extruded subcategory in the snacking portfolio. Uh, one interesting change in the shift of consumer behavior or shopper buying over here, customers moved from a potato chips to a nachos category. So the, the, the share of nachos category eventually gone 2x compared to the last two years. That is phenomenally done between both the organizations, the kind of uh, products, the innovations, uh, and Cornetos has a sub-brand called Krusty's today, the extruded snacks which they have launched in the last one year. That is also doing extremely well in our stores and it's doing almost 300% YOY growth today. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Julie? Yeah. Hi. Thank you for the presentation. Sure. Uh, just want to know one more thing that you said from chips to nachos, you transformed it to almost that category of 43-45%. Any specific example you want to quote? Uh, example. Uh, How did you manage to do that? So two different uh, ground level activations. One, uh, you know, the, the wet sampling as I mentioned. Second, the distribution part. In, the, in, in terms of distribution, not only the geographical distribution, the more products. So the new uh, launch Cornetos which has done, the Krusty's uh, sub-brand which they have done. Uh, it was a phenomenal distribution which we have done to multiple states, multiple cities and multiple formats in our, in our stores actually. That is led to the, uh, the share increase of Nacho's uh, subcategory here. Thank you. Thank you, Churi. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to team Cornitos and Smart Bazaar, Mayur and Johnson. We welcome our next team, Dhud Mishtan Bhandar, that's DMB, and Smart Superstore, Rahul Sharma, Director DMB, and Dhanu Pratap Singh, National Head, Regional Brands Reliance Retail. Welcome to Rahul and Bhanu. Namaste. Can I have the video, please?
DMB has been a traditionally accepted brand and this acceptance uh, made it easier for us to take a bet. Ideating and innovating the product basis the trends then started happening and the growth story is there for everyone to see. Innovating impulse product like single serve and canning traditional taste of Kala Jamun in Malpoa is something that has clicked well. YOY LFL growth for DMB has been more than 100% for last 3 years wherein the category growth in Rajasthan for the last 3 years has been 60%. Uh, a story which you have uh, seen just uh, right now in the uh, this video, it depicts the dilemma of uh, traditional Indian Hawaii from ages. I would like to thank you, this organized uh, modern trade detail stores and um, our mentors under the leadership of Damodar sir. Hi, I'm Rahul Sharma, director from the DME Suites Private Limited, Dudhan Sharmanda, Jaipur. I'll show you my journey and uh, we'll take you to our successful partnership. So uh, we started as a farming, then uh, Gaushala, then uh, start, uh, entered into retailing in 1965, Dood Bandar selling Dood and Dahi, then become Mithai Wala, Dood Mishan Bandar, then into restaurant, then into packed products, sweets. Uh, now we are into present in 16 states of India across all channels and trades. So we partner to convert loose sweets to carry best before dates. So for no India, for new India, traditional Indian sweets in packaging form. So we focused on the post-COVID customer, today's intelligent, educated customer, health-seeking customers, uh, convenience buying customers. Uh, you know, uh, part, we partner to attain our uh, you know con to replace the confectionery segment with innovations, and uh, Hawaii sweets are real Indian chocolates with their history. So we, uh, let's understand our customers. So we, uh, these are the customers which we are targeting, festive, uh, you know, religious customers, uh, working professionals. So these are our target customers. So we partner to overcome the challenges. Look, being a Hawaii uh, person, so we partner to overcome the shelf life. We got the insights from them. And uh, no, supply chain was the issue. Advertising budget was not there for advertising the you know, Indian streets, we got the help from this, our channel partner. So, that's all the transformation. We talk a lot about the, uh, you know, new product development and the market potential. Then we, we got the opportunity to work with the Reliance and understand the market potential with each other. And, you know, 60% of the working population, they live far behind from their home. So, we innovated the product for their own nostalgia also. Next. So, these are the outcomes of our innovations. I'll just add. On the, on the single serve, I just want to add on the single serve, we were able to uh, crack that formula in such a, such a manner that it has become Meri Valley Mithai sort of concept in the table and it has got a space which is occupied primarily in the modern trade by the confectionery. So majority of the state in the modern modern trade you will find it in the impulse bin which, which has uh, a great innovation which we have done during the time of pandemic. So in terms of the product range, was there uh, specific products which were created for this promotion and for the segment or is this part of the overall offering that you already had? No, it's, it's, it's specific products were created for this. I mean, we, if you see in the presentation, or in the modern trade, only three types of sweets are available, rasgulla, gulab jamun and kaju katli, which is a recent innovation. But uh, we, in the past two years, have added three unique things, which is single serve uh, in all the three, three things. and. Kala Jamun, which Kala Jam, which is which is which is which we, we were the pioneer in doing that Kala Jam, we were the one. And Malpua, we, we got this concept from Srinathji where it is a spiritual thing, they chadhao it to the Bhagwan. So we, we got that concept and it has been available in the tin pack. And that is a unique thing which only DMV along with us were able to develop. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mush. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much to Rahul Sharma and Bhanu Pratap Singh of Adu DMB and Smart Superstore. I'll now request Godrej Consumer Product and Reliance Smart to take the stage. Harsh Bajani, KM Godrej Consumer Limited and Dharmendra Asher, General Manager of Reliance Retail. Over to you. And myself, Ramesh Nanare from Category Team. We are here to present the Great Indoors Category Management uh, in partnership with Reliance Retail. 
So Reliance Retail and Godrej Consumer Products, uh, we have had uh, strong partnerships and even this year we aim to be the most preferred retail partner. That is what the discussions in the JBP also were around to lead the categories ahead of the market to plan for future growth categories. We all know that uh, living spaces have transformed post COVID and uh, we can see that uh, work from home has become the new normal. There has been an imminent need to have the perfect indoors uh, nowadays. Good sleep is the need of the hour and hygiene and freshness is something that people want as it enhances our way of living. Coupled with that is the huge opportunity to build penetration, especially in the air freshness segment uh, currently, which is at only 6%. And the insecticides category, if we see the liquid vaporizer, it is at only 28% penetration and uh, household uh, aerosols at 5%. To give a general outlook, uh, the brand has grown uh, uh, exponentially over the far past few years, but the penetration still remains at 6%. And if the growth continues, we will be able to clock a 2000 crore category by the year 2025, which currently stands at a 640 crore category. Similarly, if we look at the insecticides uh, category, it is a leaking funnel. The customers buying the products in the last three months are one third of the ones buying in the entire year. There is a huge opportunity to build the need across formats. The in-store shopping experience is troublesome for the shoppers because uh, they don't know what to buy exactly. Only one in five shoppers usually stop in these categories. Our aim is to create the communication and bring the visibility to that level. We have worked on a strategy to convert the non-users to users, users to more formats, which will lead to the category growth. Thus presenting the great indoors campaign powered by Goodnight Hit and Air where we worked on awareness, consideration and conversion by make, educating the people, considering the planogram assortment and converting them through unique shopper experiences. The air freshener category has been expanded in 25 uh, states, 800 stores. Uh, we have laid out a design where we educate the consumers through the shelf strip. There is a first uh, First, uh, in the industry, uh, 3D representation of solutions on the right, as you can see, the lit diorama, which talks about indoor solutions, outdoor solutions. This is what the design looks like, where we have worked extensively in partnership with Reliance on the planogram piece. This took a lot of efforts to put these designs, format, thought in these designs to look the customer can take the experience to the shopping point of view. Similarly, for HI category and the final execution is where we worked at. This led to focus on year-long tie-ups of our, these products. And if we talk about the results, we were able to scale up to 10x volume and value growth in the Airmatic product. The automatic sprays earlier, which we used to sell about 1,000, 2,000 pieces, were raised up to 15, 16,000. The Goodnight LMD has contributed almost 27% to this category. We have been able to increase the uh, contribution by 10%. The Power Pocket uh, pack of 3 plus 1, we have been able to grow by 6x, contributing to almost 19% to the category. There has been a shift in penetration by 10% in air fresheners and 6% in insecticides. The number of bills has grown by 1.2, 1.3x in the category. Thus, the great indoors has led Reliance to become the fastest growing retailer in the, division, in the entire organized trade fraternity. Thank you. Thank you. More next. Can you tell us a little bit more on the experiential aspect. How did you capture the attention of the shopper? Yeah. So, can we have the presentation? Can we have the video? So, we'll show you one audio. So uh, if I have a testimonial video, if I can play this. So.
uh, three important things. One is the attractive design. We have lit designs for both insecticide as well as the air freshener category. It actually, uh, uh, it comes under notice of the shopper and they start visiting the category. As I had shown previously, only one in five shopper used to normally shop in this category. But now because of this attractive designs, people tend to come to look at what the category is, has to offer and they stop there. Secondly, is the second piece is the communication. Every shelf uh, has a shelf strip which communicates the usage of that particular format or that particular product. For insecticides, there are indoor solutions, there are outdoor solutions, there are solutions for pest, there are solutions for mosquitoes. Similarly, for air fresheners, there are solutions for uh, cars, for bathrooms, for living rooms. They are all segregated, segmented. And the third is the uh, 3D diorama which is placed. It is just a mini uh, screenshot or the mini summary of the entire category that for indoors you use this, for living rooms you use that, etc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, please. Um, since we are referring to food forum today, do you have anything related to food grocery in the success story? So uh, this is uh, food, uh, food and groceries. Basically, uh, we are talking about the household segment here. So not specifically food formats. We have a household segment. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for both these consumer products and Reliance Smart, Harsh, Harsh and Dharmendra. Uh, judges, please note our next two teams are not there. That's uh, Minar and Gulabs. We move on to Hellman's Mayonnaise and Spencer's. Urvi Nerurkar. KAM at Unilever and uh, Anand Ghosh, Deputy General Manager at Spencer's. Yeah, good evening everyone. My name is Anand Ghosh. I'm representing uh, Spencer's here. So uh, after the pandemic, you know, the store opens and we were, uh, we were facing a challenge, you know, how to engage with more and more consumer, how to talk with the consumer with the aspiration product. Just to go to figure to you that, you know, Spencer's, from the positioning point of view, uh, that in processed food segment, the 12% sale comes from the niche segment sale, imported gourmet and you know aspiration products. So when we uh, when we went back to the drawing board to choose a, choose the brand which we want to communicate with, we chose Hellman as a brand because it's an international brand. Yeah, uh, so we introduced Hellman's Mayo, which is a beloved international brand in India, in December 2019. Uh, but after that pandemic hit, so we wanted to reintroduce this brand to our shoppers through an in-store experience, and we partnered with Spencer's for that. So we went back to our consumer studies to understand how consumers interact with the Mayo category, and we had three key learnings. The first one is that it's still an aspirational category in India, and consumers are usually introduced to the category in a modern setting, like a restaurant or a cafe. So we wanted to demystify the usage of mayo for our shoppers. The second was that once they're introduced to the category, it becomes inspirational. They want to recreate recipes at home. Moms want easy and fun recipes for their fussy kids. So we wanted to introduce everyday easy recipes to the consumers which can be replicated at their houses. Last one, it's a fun category, it's recreational. Consumers uh, use this category while they're hanging out with friends and families. So we wanted to incorporate in social settings like shopping where they are having fun with their friends and family. Uh, so we decided to create a premium tasting experience in stores for our consumers uh, to experience this brand. Can I uh, have the AV please? In December 2019, the globally beloved brand helps. What made this unassuming condiment a household favorite? Mayonnaise has been considered an indulgence. So we sought to bring this premium tasting experience to stores. Using it in conventional food items allows mothers to prepare restaurant-like dishes at home and creates opportunities to have delicious meals while hanging out with the people you love. Hellman's and Spencer's Retail Limited came together to drive this vision and deployed activation across 15 stores in West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh and Delhi NCR between August and September 2022. How did we do this? The first step was to create a specialized Hellman's Mayo menu at Spencer's live bakery section supported by sampling and visibility to demonstrate how best they could use mayo in their own recipes. The second step was to have promoters near the bakery section or primary bay to sample the product and push for the purchase with the help of Spencer's store teams. Lastly, this was supported by in-store communication at multiple touch points and branding at the primary bay. The results of the activation were astounding. 
2.3 times Bell's cut in activity period, 2 times of Hellman's Mayo sales in the activity period, 1.7 times contribution to the category. The category average selling price gained 3.71% while the average bill value gained 2.87% generating better returns per square feet. The results of HUL and Spencer's Retail Limited Partnership encouraged us to keep our activities going in 2023 with even wider coverage of stores. Yeah, thank you, that's it from us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to the team. Thank you very much to the team from Hellman's Mayonnaise and Spencer's. Judges, please note, we go down to number 22 because they have product launch coming up in the main hall. So it'll be Real Fruit Power Masala uh, Juice and Reliance Retail. I repeat, Real Fruit Power Masala Juice and Reliance Retail who will be making the next presentation. And Mandar Shinde, Senior Category Manager, Reliance Retail. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, when, the, yeah. when the world was changing in the blink of an eye, during COVID-2020, COVID when people were very reluctant to try outside food because of hygiene factor, we too came together with Reliance and tapped into the unmet, unarticulated need of the customer to have masala with juice and we co-created a sub-segment with Reliance Retail which we known as Real Masala Range. And here is our AV. It started 25 years back when we created the juices category in India. Now it's India's most loved juices brand. This love made us a market leader, helping us realize our duty to bring fruit nutrition and incredible taste to every Indian home. From launch in 1997 to 16 plus flavors of Indian and exotic juices in Rio, being the pioneers to launch Indian fruit juices on dining table in Indian market, that is guava, lychee, pomegranate, etc. to health plus range, fruit veggie for gut health, heart health and immunity boost, fiber plus and the 100% tender coconut water for hydration, digestion and skin health. Our agenda started with a thought that India, which was predominantly a mango drink market, Real provided consumers options beyond mango with juices made from other fruits. Saliency of juices other than mango has increased from 1% to 25% in the last 15 years and Indians now have options of drinking fruit beyond mango. The problem at hand was being the market leader. How do we grow the category further? And what's the next big real thing? We say Chatakedar, since Indians love their spices. Chinese to Desi Chinese, cut fruits to fruit chaat, guava to chili guava, ganne ka juice bhi masala market. After uncovering the consumption truth, both buyer and brand came together with something equally nice for our customers. Real with masala, for the quintessential Indian who loves masala. We got together with Reliance Smart and took this innovative idea ahead. Mixed a little spice into our juices, giving the juice category an all new direction. Tastier, masaledar version of real was available at more affordable price point. Wonder what were the results of this partnership? Real masala partnership with Reliance Smart worked out perfectly. Take a look at the launch in the North and West market, where we created touch points to increase customer penetration, took essential parts of planogram and used top shelf displays in smart stores. And if you still got doubts, here are the wonder numbers. Since February 2021, from 1.8% 1 market share in Nectar's 1 litre, Category Masala range has garnered 9.5% market share till July 2022. Article penetration to customer has increased two times. Masala share has reached to 8% of the category in November 22 in Reliance Retail. We have sold 2.4 million real masala units in last one and a half years. Watch out for more real achievements together. 
uh, one thing to add to this, uh, customers, we uh, partnered with Dabur and we made a sampling to our store operators. So our store operators be a brand uh, ambassador to promote this brand. The, hence, the, it was other further pushed to the customers and we got this wonderful number. So we have grown 4x from the last year's numbers on Real Masala. Thank you. Yeah. So we came together, we planned and we conquered. So as of now, our market share has reached 15% in November. So from 9.4% in July, we have reached to 15%. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much to our team of Jaimitha and Mandar Shinde. That's Real Fruit Power Masala Juice and Reliance Retail. And we'll move on to our next team, which is Holix Diabetes Plus Logo and Apollo Pharmacies. Akash Das Gupta, National uh, at Yuridiva and uh, Sohail Khwaja, Operations Head, General Manager, Apollo Pharmacy. Akash and Sohail. Hi. Uh, hello. Hi, my name is Akash. I'm from a part of the HOL Modern Trade team. Firstly, excited and honored to be part of this August company. In all the, you know, talk of indulgence, sweets, uh, you know, we do come with a very niche activity on health. And without taking further time, we'll go ahead. Uh, while all of us are aware of the brand Holix, I'm, and I, I hope all of you are. But what we are talking about today is the adult category, and that's the segment which is growing the fastest. And I'm, I have with me Sohail. Sohail, if you want to introduce yourself, please. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I am Sohail Khaja, and I'm representing Apollo Pharmacy. As you all know, it is the biggest uh, player in healthcare category with more than 5,000 stores. Right. Uh, you know, I wanted to share some stats with you. Uh, so in India, diabetes is coming up to be the biggest health or lifestyle threat that we have. Uh, that's 17% of people who are already diagnosed with uh, diabetes or are pre-diabetes. So clearly our task is to target everyone. It's not only the diabetic anymore. But more importantly, 47% of the people never get diagnosed. And that's the scary part. And that's been the starting point of our activity. Uh, and who best to do this with? It's Apollo with their ecosystem of uh, sugar clinics, with their pharmacies, with their diagnostic centers, with their doctors. And we're very proud to partner with them. And I'll sh uh, give you further details while we go on. Uh, we took our brand, and this is a brand that got launched in the last couple of years. Uh, we've started small, but we know this is not a kind of brand where uh, it's just going to go on the shelf and start selling on its own. It needs to be explained. It needs to reach the right people. And therefore, a lot of uh, you know, penetration task is there on this brand. Uh, what we did was that we tied up with Apollo Sugar Clinics and the pharmacy brand. Uh, to bring across this kind of activation across 20 cities. How did we select these 20 cities? These are cities where uh, studies say the prominence of diabetes is the highest. Uh, we targeted South because of the network of Apollo. Uh, what we did is that at a clinic, if you today entered, uh, there would be a free sugar test which would be conducted. Uh, basis uh, in interaction with their in-house expert, they get, get a coupon which they can redeem at an Apollo pharmacy. So this was a 360 degree activation where a user could go right from getting tested, raise awareness, get a coupon to go and redeem it at an Apollo pharmacy store. Uh, 40,000 uh, tests were done during this period. Uh, what we also did is to drive some kind of, uh, you know, uh, a demand around it. Uh, we tied up with media and we got joint ads across uh, uh, newspapers, in-store, and therefore we got all, uh, anybody who visited an Apollo store or read the Times of India that day was aware of this activity and they could redeem it. Uh, what we also did is we took it online as well. A lot of the online platforms where we ran uh, this activity for them to reach out and a lot of this traffic moved to the Apollo 24-7 site. I like to play this short video and I won't play it fully just to give you a sense of what we did at an alarming rate. India is home to the second highest number of diabetics with 77 million cases. Almost 50% of diabetics go undiagnosed. Early detection can lead to better control of diabetes and is associated with diabetes in, is increased. In the interest of time, I won't play the music because I just heard the results. We had a 2.4x uh, increase of sales. But uh, more importantly, what we did was that the category grew at 2.5%. And I asked uh, Sohail to just quickly summarize this. 
Yeah, I think this came at the right time, uh, right after COVID, people were very much conscious about health. And uh, uh, as he said, 17% of population, they are either pre-diabetic or they are diabetic. And the people who are walking inside a pharmacy, 40% of them are related uh, to this condition of diabetes. So it was a very fruitful partnership for us along with the Unilever. And samplings was uh, done, sugar tests were done, and we got a very good response out of it. And our throughput, it went to 2.5x for that period in those stores. And we got a very uh, a big growth in terms of the overall category also, that is 3x. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Happy to answer any questions that you might have. What was the period this was conducted for? This was uh, a two-month period. It started somewhere around end of June, went up to August first week. And do you think you should continue this? Yes. So we are now kind of scaling this up even further and bringing in more brands. So while I've only talked about Diabetes Plus, yeah. but we have three other brands. Uh, so give you a quick sense, Protein Plus will be more about bone density test. There is going to be a women's leg out of it, which is going to be, again, bone health for uh, women only. So yeah, we are going to scale this up even further. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So normally in all the other promotions, we've seen two entities. One is the retailer, one is the yes. uh, brand. Here you brought in a third leg, which is the diagnostic. Yes. Although it still belongs to the same company, yes. but I would imagine they are two separate verticals. Uh, yes, they are. So, that's what, what so what is in it for the, for the uh, diagnostic center? So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for that question. Uh, it was getting footfalls into their store, uh, into their diagnostic centers. So Apollo uh, Sugar Clinics, actually, that's where we partnered with. Uh, their uh, objective was to get people into testing for sugar, because that's what they're looking at. They want everybody to come in, because 17% of the people are going to be diagnosed either pre-diabetic or diabetic. So their objective was to get more people into test. That kind of helps them build their business as well, I guess. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's hear for team uh, Holix and uh, Apollo Pharmacies, Akash and Sohail. Let's welcome our next presenters, Kellogg's and Reliance Retail, Suresh Tulani and uh, Rajkumar Patel. Suresh Tulani is national. Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, thank you for letting us present the good work uh, that we Kellogg and Reliance Smart and Smart Bazaar are doing together in order to build the breakfast cereals category into the stores and take the shopper experience to a next level. Uh, as Henry Ford said, coming together is just the beginning. Keeping together is what we call progress. Working together is success. Uh, around this thought, we have, you know, we have been working with the uh, formats with Reliance uh, Smart and Smart Bazaar to excel more and more and create more value for the shopper. Now, we as a partner have moved beyond the JB, JBP discussions and now uh, we are towards the journey of JVC, that is joint value creation for our customers. And for this, we have made the different interventions which we are we like to make you go through. So in the subsequent slides, what you will see is the 360 degree uh, interventions that we are doing as category leaders in, uh, in the stores with Reliance. Uh, to start with, we have dressed multiple stores. We have ensured that you know, the boring health subject becomes more exciting and uh, you know, shopper friendly and the shoppers are attracted towards the category. It has helped uh, to, to give a renewed avatar to the overall category. The category is growing at 2x in these stores. Uh, the another major intervention that was very important for the shopper that was who was just returning back from the COVID jolt that he, ha he or she has to be excited with the sampling activities, taste food and make shopping decisions. This category uh, dressing at the stores has really impact, has increased the customer interaction in the, at, at the primary bay for the category. And we have seen almost clearly the differential growth for the stores in which this category dressing has done compared to rest of the stores. The, in, number, in number terms, it is mentioned that we have seen almost 2x of the growth in this category dressing stores here. Moving ahead, another aspect where we are winning together is the fests and properties that Reliance has uh, to offer to us as a brand. 
we are winning together in the breakfast fest which is which occurs two times in the year in the month of march and september we are the lead sponsors there and the uh, another big intervention which had happened in the year we do it every year uh, every year also with them but this year it was pr pretty special where we did a premia on back to school uh, Yes, we do participate with all the major properties uh, as hotspot and buy one get one zones uh, with Reliance, which are again talk of you know shop uh, overall shopper shopper experience and talk of the uh, town uh, being large value offerings to the shopper. So we uh, here we jointly decide on the big bets which we are going to place in this in-store visibilities, and we offer the extensive uh, customer value on these products to the customers. Here again, as mentioned by Suresh, uh, this event, this big was uh, breakfast fest is celebrated twice in a year, and Kellogg's remains the lead sponsor for this event, and this provide really the required impetus to the category growth. Move it. Yeah, we are also winning together with displays. Some of the innovations that we have done in displays is the tower displays for our penetration packs, and the massiveness that we create around the fest and uh, the key months where large shopping festivals are there. This tower displays has resulted into 4x increase in the total bin penetration. The store and this has created the never uh, like long-lasting impact on the overall bin penetration for the category. Yeah, this is a, a, a journey of our muesli offering that I want to share. Uh, we used to be a 240 gram pack a few years back and then we moved to a 500 gram and 2750 and uh, I, I think Raj should announce it. And we are also successfully now upgraded our customer from 750 gram pack to 1 kg packs. These 1 kg packs are never heard before and uh, we are happy to share that. From this muesli category, this one of the, we can say the boring category, this category earlier contributes to 18% of breakfast cereals uh, overall portfolio. Now it has moved to almost 23% contribution. So this intervention has really uh, resulted in higher growth for, higher relative growth for muesli. Right. The last part where we are, uh, you know, engaging uh, together in premiumizing the ca muesli category, which is part of our uh, JVC, uh, basically, from the no sugar uh, concepts, we are now moving towards the source-based concepts like 100% plant protein muesli. Thank you. Thank you. That's all for the partnership. Thanks. By Kisan Hellman's uh, portfolio drive and reliance retail, Dhairya Agarwal of Unilever and uh, Ravi Shankar, category manager, reliance. Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, so t today Ravi and I will be speaking about our uh, uh, food innovations drive between HUL and Reliance. So just to set some context, uh, the objective for this drive was to build salience of the category and the Kisan and Hillman's brand at Reliance. Um, we had a clear picture of success and while you may wonder why we chose these categories, the reason, primary reason was that these are low penetration categories. Uh, with the urban India penetration in uh, lower double digits. Uh, and there's a clear job to be done in terms of educating the shoppers, in terms of uh, what the category is about, what are the products in the category. And then we partnered with Reliance. Uh, and here we did a joint business plan with HUL because Reliance has a great footfall to offer. And parallelly, we have planned a breakfast mela where we have been dri driving the whole breakfast category together. So this has helped to achieve our magical number. Great, and um, the key thing to focus here was this is not a uh, one shoe fits all kind of an approach. We went into uh, a state specific approach uh, targeted at a 360 degree activation, uh, pack specific play, uh, keeping the kind of stores we are targeting in mind. Um, and like I said, it was a 360 degree approach involved a joint marketing plan between Reliance and HUL, uh, in-store visibility, uh, online availability drive along with the promo support and promoter sampling in stores. Uh, building on to that further, uh, so in terms of the joint marketing plan, it started with uh, choosing the right geographies. While it was very easy to just focus at metros like Delhi, Mumbai, we also looked at uh, other states where we knew from our shopper studies that uh, the brands had good uh, customer acceptance and the market was big enough to play into them. Uh, we focused on localized communications both outside stores and uh, we multiple in-store communications to uh, encourage uh, category and product discoverability. And here we ensured the products would be available and visible across the pin code of the geography. 
for the omni channel and in store we have created a great visibly visible uh, display abundance in the in the section and category so that it should be visible to all the customers right through reliance's uh, effort to ensure availability we could get exponential results from uh, the promoters we had deployed in stores in terms of sampling because the stocks were available in stores for them uh, to to generate the entire uh, funnel of marketing for the shoppers right from uh, generating interest driving awareness to trials and purchase because right now it's no longer a linear model of purchase everything is happening simultaneously and that's what we want to uh, wanted to focus on speaking more about results uh, i'd focus right now just on the category growth uh, we we could see uh, through the expedited brand growth we could clearly see an uptick in the category growth as well uh, mayonnaise grew five uh, the growth in mayonnaise was 5.5x in september versus uh, august and similarly 2x for peanut butter sequentially uh in the interest of time i'll sp skip through what some of the shoppers have to say uh and looking at what uh is uh, what were some key learnings or opportunities for the future i think one uh, key thing that came out was uh, the benefit of sampling which is why we plan to deploy uh permanent sampling zones for all year round sampling in stores uh precision marketing to uh, again retarget the cohort we've already identified and a uh, stronger partnership for uh, the coming events with reliance thank you so much thank you in terms of your uh, moment that yeah it was created, for the brave breakfast has your yes. has your communication changed from let's say 21 to 22 given pre covid post covid right so pre covid we did not actually do a lot of these communications because these were recent uh, launches into these stores so which is why like post covid once we knew there was a back to school momentum and people were actually coming back to stores we wanted to leverage and uh, do this drive to educate the shoppers so in terms of communications i won't say that you know we were communicating differently before versus differently later but what we did focused on was a lot of localized communication so that shoppers could relate to whichever geographies they were in so this product was not focused on the breakfast category earlier is is that a new thing no so the product like uh, urvi also mentioned right so uh, helmens was launched in india in 2019 so before covid there wasn't a lot of uh, activation we could do and during the covid period because people were in their homes it didn't make sense to do a lot of outdoor activations so post covid once we had the product uh, inside uh, listed in the modern trade outlets like reliance it made sense to do the strife uh, and the reason we wanted to so while you know conventionally uh, an event like breakfast mela would focus just on uh, the core categories like jams or cereals we wanted to um, and and the the key synergy is that the shoppers who will come into the stores are going to be the ones who can also get uh, get introduced to these newer categories that they can include in their breakfast basket and that's what we wanted to leverage thank you thank you very much Thank you very much to Kisan and Fresh Pick, pra Prachi Sharma, Brand Manager Mondelez, and uh, Aditya Saraswat, AVP Head Operations, Reliance Premium Grocery. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Arvind. Aditya uh, couldn't make it, so I represent Fresh Pick. Uh, I'm sure uh, many of you would be aware of the brand, and uh, uh, it's one of its kind gourmet grocery store. Uh, which is there at uh, uh, Geo World Drive uh, in at BKC, and uh, the endeavor here uh, about Fresh Pick, the endeavor of Fresh Pick is to to give a unique customer experience to a discerning uh, customer who's looking for uh, you know the gourmet grocery ingredients. So there's a lot of focus which is there on experience part, uh, and hence comes into picture. this uh, made for each other kind of a partnership with mondelez and uh, it's the purple room at fresh pick so this is uh, our fresh pick store glimpses of the store the kind of experience that i was talking about that we present to the customer and uh, here is the purple room so it's a specially curated and one of its kind and the first from the brand which is created specially for this retail store and uh, here if you see the design of the uh, of the purple room it it actually marries very beautifully with the aesthetics of the store 
fresh pick. So more about it, uh, Siddharth. Hi. So taking off from where Arvind left, uh, as he mentioned that the consumer for this specific format is a very discerning and a specific consumer. And so we said that what does it mean for our category and how do we bring that alive for this consumer? What we realize is that this is a consumer who is not only looking for a premium assortment, but beyond that is looking for experiences, is looking for a multi-sensory experience and a variety. And that is what we built along with the partner. Uh, let's move to the next one. So there are essentially four tenets that we built this on. First and foremost is the premium assortment, which is the most uh, obvious one, which is what we've said. The second piece is that we created some exclusive products for this kind of a format. What you see there is a make your own range for home bakers to make their own uh, pro home baked products, created exclusively for them. The third piece was then the live product experiences. So we have an experience here where the consumer can come in and get milkshakes made out of our products as ingredients. So it's a live counter experience. Again, it's only one of a kind in the entire country that is available in this location. And then engagement experiences as well. So the, while there is a molten chocolate product that is available, a 3D printed chocolate in a specific design that is available, there is engagement built around games for the consumers to engage with this platform and then get these product experiences as well. So again, this is a unique one of a kind. Again, a little bit of more, by interest of time, we can skip this, but these are more details about some of our unique experiences that we built together. Uh, in terms of impact, I think the proof of the pudding lies in the fact that the bulk of the output, the majority of the output is actually coming from experiences. And that is where we feel we've delivered to the consumers together, and that's what's worked for us. Thank you so much. I think we're open for the questions. And then Siddharth of Mondelez and Reliance. We move on to our next team. Nivea and Smart Bazaar. Rohan Patne, National Key Accounts Manager of Nivea, and Alok, Category Manager, Reliance Retail. Rohan and Alok. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are here to share our partnership on Dio Rolon that we did uh, probably one and a half years. Uh, we started this. And uh, I would like to take you through uh, a beautiful AV, uh, the business which has come out, and a gist of it. India is a country with approximately 100 as a category faces challenges in growth. This is attributed to low penetration, fast evolving needs and non-essential product utility. So we identified Dio Rollon, a format popular across the globe for its higher consumer stickiness as our North Star. Reliance believed in this vision and together we took a challenge. The roots of our confidence were the belief in our long-standing partnership. Having a strong communication backup, the key challenge was to build a compelling in-store consumer recruitment story. So we identified the key levers to be impacted in the consumer psyche, that is, shopper awareness, format consideration and product trials. This helped us to devise a strategy to influence the shopper journey by category dressing and display units to drive format relevancy, product sampling and festive integration to drive trials, cross-category units and cash still activation to build complementary regime. This resulted in Livia Dio Rolon on growing 2x in volume and 3x in value and propelled the overall Livia deodorant growth by 2x. But with Dio Rolon penetration doubling and still at 0.4%, this is just the beginning. India is a country. Yeah, hi. This is Alok from Reliance. Uh, so when just we, when uh, we are started our journey, we just identify why roll on. So there is a two requirement of male and female. So uh, women are uh, do the uh, shaving for uh, hair removal for the underarms. So they have some uh, problem with their underarms to how to protect and how to make it uh, more visible. 
and uh, for mains requirement is like a freshness and uh, uh, entire day of freshness and odorless is the requirement for mains so considering that as a requirement we will start our journey so basically we looked at the need first so we had very clear need uh, that uh, why it is required apart from that we went ahead and we saw it what are the insights that are required so we went ahead and went to a lot of consumers and uh, what what are the basic requirements that they uh, have? Th we we got two. Uh, that is one is functional and one is uh, you know emotional needs. So this is what it came out. Smooth and beautiful underarms is what they require. And love and uh, care for their underarm is the basic thing that came out. Then we also looked at some uh, uh, MUs wherein this format was already evolved. And as you can see in the chart, India is at the lowest. So we were just starting. And this was the biggest opportunity, and we partnered with Reliance for this opportunity so that we could come out with great results. Apart from that, uh, uh, household penetration was every year getting 2x in into this. So this was, you know, a sign that we should get into this. This is going to be uh, great for us. Plus, the stickiness of this was 95%. So this all insights led us to take up this project and then take it further. So what next? What are the challenges we are facing? So while creating this category, we want to do uh, so category development, how to educate the customers, how we can increase the consumption, and how we can do the repeat buying on this article. So those are the challenges uh, on which we work out. So under each head, what we did was we did a lot of trend testing. So under category development, we had four points. We tried out four, four five points. Brand engagement, we tried out four, four, four five points. Uh, and then customer connect, we uh, tried four, five points. The next slide. You will so need to wind up. Your time is up. Next, next slide. Uh, so these were the activities. We, we did pilot. We measured the impact properly, what happened. And then we tried to scale it up. So these were the each activities that we did. And this scaled up to all the smart and the number of stores. They started giving us results. So I'm happy to announce that this journey we started exactly one and a half year back and we are got a 2x growth in the one and a half year. You can see the 73% CHR we are got in the last four year. So not only in the business uh, and about the penetration also, you can see the 2x uh, growth we got in the penetration also. So there is a journey, that's why we called it as it's just the beginning and we want to go and ahead. It is just the initial state that we have done. We have just scratched the surface now. There is a lot of things left to do. In we this. have really exceeded our time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nivea and Smart Bazaar, we, uh, judges, please note that Organic Tatwa and Reliance will be presenting later. We skip that one and move on to the next team, Orion and Smart Bazaar. Nishant Singh, Head of Modern Trade at Orion, and Bhavan Gada, AGM Category Manager, Reliance. Over to Nishant and Bhavan. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Bhavan. I am the Senior Category Manager for Reliance Retail and we have Nishan, Modern Trade Head for Orion India. Uh, the partnership uh, which we have with Orion, we symbolize this as Vridhi. So Vridhi is symbolic, uh, a symbol, uh, a Sanskrit word uh, which symbolizes growth. And uh, we, uh, you know, ensured uh, that we had a lot of Vridhi, not only for the uh, brand per se, but uh, the objective was to have a lot of Riddhi for the category as well. So how we partnered with uh, a brand uh, and how we ensured uh, that we had a immense Riddhi within the category and a win-win situation between the brand and the retailer. So I just want to take, uh, Nishant, you can just go ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, before we start to the next slide, just wanted to know how many of you have tasted Orion Choco Pie? If I can see some hands. Uh, thanks, I can see some good hands at the back. Uh, please, uh, there's Orion counter, you can go and uh, have those tasty choco pies as well. Uh, so what was the objective? Objective was to increase the category size and gain market share for Orion. And how did we achieve? So we achieved consistent growth in sales across Reliance Smart. So the category was growing by 2x percent, whereas Orion was growing by 4x percent in the same period. And how did we achieve this growth? So this growth was because of the new product innovation, a uh, lot of feedback and testing session. Let me be honest with you. Uh, Reliance team was quite brutal with their feedback, and which actually helped us. Uh, we co-created mango choco pie, one of its flavor. First time uh, in the global portfolio, we have this mango choco pie. And it was co-created with Reliance support. 
uh, today now both this flavor of choco pie contributes 20 percent of the choco pie sales uh, this was a other uh, event like factory visits meet up for ideation so there was a consistent engagement that helped us to reach this uh, numbers uh, and again how did we we also uh, indulge into the mascot activity this was actually done to create excitement on the floor uh, this we painted the entire smart stores with kesari around so the mango flavor so the, again the objective was how do we uh, go ahead and uh, create more excitement on the floor uh, this was children's day activity uh, this was again another property power of nine this gave us a, a good uh, chance to uh, do an innovative sampling to all the customers of uh, reliance smart and also led us to 3x growth some innovative displays that we did in reliance pan india fsus uh, especially these two sq uh, we launched during diwali and this was a limited edition pack to create a differentiation uh, coming to this signature collection pack so i always like we always believe that collaboration is more beautiful than competition and uh, with haldiram galaxy and orion coming together to launch this pack and 80% of the stock was sold in less than 3 days time yeah quickly some fun facts uh, our monthly sales actually uh, the average monthly sales currently is actually the entire year sales of 17 18 and it just took only one month one festive month to clock the growth which we had around 18 and 19 so we are almost increasing the category is increasing by 10x when you compare to 17 18 and uh, as we speak the category is doubling and uh, orion is growing faster than the category helping the category boost as well thank you and the way forward and learning uh, of course the ambition to is to lead the category to be stronger faster and better thank you we open ourselves for questions from your side sir very very quickly what's the power of 9 uh the power of 9 is uh, any any customer walking down to reliance store and purchasing what 4099 he gets a chance to buy any of the products at rupees 9 so uh, the major contribution is on the daily essentials like chakki atta and sugar uh, but we this was the first brand which participated in this in a confectionery category giving a choice to a consumer uh, to not only have the sugar and the atta but to try a new product so when they participated we got some around 15% share in the entire uh, bill cuts and uh, this led to a 3x growth in the following months so uh, a tasting session for the consumer and then uh, they st stuck to this product basically in simple words if i can just add uh, people were preferring uh, orion choco pie over sugar in the store thank you right thank you so much thank you very much to team orion and uh, smart bazaar we move on to our next team parley and reliance retail nilesh singh senior key account manager of parley and ketan duvad senior category manager reliance retail parley and reliance retail uh good evening everyone so uh, here i am going to talk about the category which is the largest category in fmcg segment which category is actually a fastest growing category uh, for reliance so we will be talking about a very big category and big growth story here so it has been a wonderful uh, journey uh, with parley this year and what miracle that we have done it will be unbelievable but yes breath or old just 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 see the uh, numbers so uh, we will talk about uh, a couple of things that biscuit is the largest uh, growing category for reliance if you see uh, uh, biscuit is the uh, uh, fastest growing category for reliance and what we have uh, created wonder for parley that we will talk about just uh, just um, when we started this uh, year we were thinking that what will be the strategy should we drive uh, large packs or should we do something different that uh, we haven't done so far so what we have done there were three things in our mind can we drive health premiumization uh, or we should drive uh, just uh, large packs so what we have done just have a look because biscuit is the highly penetrated category if you see biscuit category which is uh, having a 81% uh, customer penetration and it is having a highest uh, largest base so it was very difficult for us to uh, decide how to grow this big category so that was a very challenging thing and see how and what we have done so either uh, uh, we can upgrade the customer or we can upsize 
because it is already a large category it was difficult to uh, upsize the customer so we decided to upgrade the customer uh, uh, from what they are actually purchasing so what wa what was the catalyst actually just have a look so we have understood the early trends post pandemic we have seen that people have started buying premium people have started buying new categories people have started buying health categories so we have started working with our brand partners that how do we uh, uh, take this uh, category to the next level and parley was our actually partner in uh, uh, taking our category to the next level so i'll just talk about uh, th what we have thought so we have decided our category and we called it as a vip category so it was a value added digestive it was innovation and it was health because historically if you see people uh, actually are selling uh, 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 glucose uh, cracker and that regular categories so if we want to grow on such a large base we have to think differently so we have come out with this value added digestive category we actually drive innovation and premiumization and that category actually work and i will uh, you will be actually mesmerized to see the numbers that what kind of the growth we uh, took on the board right so what we have done it was the time for the action so actually what we have done we have given a special space in the category vip category we have given additional space in a respective primary base and we actually had uh, three things one what was on the our uh, different uh, uh, front one charging front what we have done we have given space on marketing front we have we have actually involved and ensure that all the all, all the marketing parameters are involved uh, to drive this category and we have aligned our supply chain also so that we can ensure that our our uh, availability all times is 90% plus so it was a win for the shoppers it was win for the retailer and it was win for the manufacturer also for the brands also so that was the thing so let us have a look at the numbers so parley grew by overall 77% over last year if you see the key categories vip categories that is digestive creams and cookies so the growth was phenomenal it has helped uh, uh, reliance also to grow reliance growth was also 63% so that that thing uh, what we uh, actually uh, have seen so now we will talk about uh, talk for the results which actually matters the most so as i mentioned parley grew by 77% bill value increased by 24% uh vip category which we are talking about is grown by uh, 99% and parley got benefited by growing 2.4% uh, share gain thank you so much availability and uh, right assortment at the right stores so this is the main objective and uh, as a parley is knowing for only for parley crack jack monaco but we have shifted from health and other uh, premium categories like milano and iden so this is the main objective and penetration is the uh, main target in across the all the location and last one point i would like to uh, mention that we used to sell 6000 metric ton biscuit in a month now we are selling 10000 metric ton biscuits every single month thank you let's hear for parle and reliance retail nilesh and ketan as we move on to our next team Pro Nature Organic and Sri Kannan Department Stores at Coimbatore, Varun Gupta, founder and chief executive officer of Pro Nature Organic, and Adesh Kumar, AGM uh, Spices and Organic, Sri Kannan Department Stores at Coimbatore. Over to Varun and Adesh. Good evening, everyone. I'm Varun from Pro Nature Organic Foods. This is the story of how we partnered with SKDS to turn around a category which was seen as a very niche and fringe category by many retailers. So the retailer came up with a very innovative idea, called it Har Ghar Organic. The entire concept was revolutionary aim to reach organic to every household that the retailer touches with. That was the concept. And we took up the cudgels to partner with the retailer and to deliver on their expectations from an organic brand, a brand which was deemed to be a fringe category. The category was deemed to be a fringe category and even 
it was called an RTV category by many uh, retailers because we would buy the product and return it back to the uh, brand. How did we do that? So how did we turn around this category with this retailer? As I said, it was a brand and retail partnership. Pro Nature worked with the brand to make the products available in every single store, promoted the products, educated the products. We partnered with the retailer to contribute to the margins so that we can make the pr products more affordable, bring down the price barrier so that more and more pr uh, customers can actually try organic for the first time ever. We did extensive sampling, consumer engagement, and that's what led to the growth. We will come to the results later. I will ask uh, Mr. Adesh to talk about the retailer side of the story. If uh, you have seen Hargara Onik, so uh, when we start uh, uh, thinking about how to make this category and we have to turn around the business, the biggest challenge was how to create a messenger. So we brainstorm like anything and we come up uh, with the, uh, uh, so many discussions. Let's have a, uh, something good messenger. So uh, we come out with Hargar Onik. So message itself, uh, giving a message to the consumer, Hargar Onik, we are talking about each and every household. Till now, uh, most of the brands, they are just talking about 1% of the premium customers. But Hargar Onik, this message is talking about 99% of the households. So that is the messenger. So my message is very clear. This organic is for each and every household, not only for the premium customers. So we have put up a lot of energy. We work on the costing part. We work out on the you know, availability. Because the big challenge is organic. Because rejection level is very, very high. Because government norms are closely involved in this. So we took a challenge. And we have given this opportunity to three, four brands. And Varunji has taken, Pro Nature has taken this challenge. And within 24 hours, he said, Adesh, I want to do this event. So we, we uh, immediately cultivate the idea and we can come up with the another see the... Uh, so prior event, agar ab dekhenge, or during the event, the category growth was within first month 5x. And post event, category is uh, 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 performing consistent basis three, with the 3x growth. So that's the uh, big change. Even this category is not more than 0.5% to 1% is over in comparison of conventional product, but now certain products in our store is contributing six to seven percent. Our ambition to make this category minimum 10 percent in comparison of the conventional product in the next one year. So that's the ambition which we have taken. So the, if you look at these pictures, these are not the premium customers. These are my actual customers wherein I am looking at the aggregate category growth going forward. So these are middle class and lower class people who are start buying the organic because we have, uh, our messenger is very clear, our price is very competitive. Uh, it's not more than 10 to 15% higher than a conventional product. Previously, this was too much of expense, more than double the price. So we regressively work on the costing part. See the display, this kind of displays, we never seen in the retail chains in my two, two decades of the, my retail experience. So what we have done, when we start placing this product on a floor stack, consumers are thinking this product is for, made for me with a good price point and all these things. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, the clear cut message is Hargar Agni is a really successful story and uh, uh, consumer mind share we have been like anything. So that's the... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much to Pro Nature and uh, Sri Kanan Department Stores. Thank you, Varun. Thank you, Adesh. Judges, please note that Punjabi Kasiranam Halwai will not be uh, making a presentation. So uh, we will move on to our next uh, real fruit farm masala. Oh, sorry, we've already done real fruit. So we move on to red label nature care and more. Abhishek Harsh, Key Account Manager at Unilever, and Chintan Mehta, Category Manager at more retail. Uh, hi, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Abhishek Harsh. Uh, I'm a key account manager for HUL and he's my retail partner, Mr. Chintan Mehta. He's a category manager for beverages from more. Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the slide first. Uh, go to video directly. You can, yeah, you can put on AV please. So we have just summarized our activation uh, with, uh, in a short form of AV. 
So can we have AV please? Yeah, AV. Nearly a decade ago, the legacy brand of Hindustan Unilever, Brookbond, launched Red Label Natural Care. Imbibing the rich heritage of Ayurveda in India, this delicious masala tea is infused with five immunity-boosting ingredients. Ginger, Tulsi, Cardamom, Muleti and Ashwagandha. Red Label Natural Care became highly sought after, particularly during the pandemic, as healthy and natural remedies became the need of the hour. Seeing this, we set out to do a market development of the premium segment, thus leading to upgradation from core to natural care. We developed a joint marketing plan with MORE, one of the most popular supermarket chains in the South. Through our winning in many India's approach, we targeted the biggest festival in the region, Pongal. Jaggery, which is the main ingredient in making Pongal sweet, is also considered healthy, immune boosting and detoxifying. Considering that 78% of the jaggery business for more came from the south, it became a natural choice for us. During this activation, the jaggery contribution in activated geographies increased by 500 BPS versus January 21. We drove shopper promotions by giving one kilogram jaggery free on our 500 gram pack, thereby making the festival sweeter for our consumers. We strategized thematic in-store execution and 360 degree partnership for shopper communication. The product we display in the primary ways, we got a good response for the same during and after activation, there was an increase in the purchase and SQ. This built salience through high impact visibility. We placed QR codes in store where shoppers could scan and view RLNC ads talking about the benefits of the product. The activity propels the brand and the results were sweet. We recruited 26,000 new shoppers for RLNC through this activation on Jan 2022, which is three times of existing RLNC RR, and successfully retained 34% of the new recruits. Red Label Natural Care's joint marketing plan with more proved to be a partnership beyond business. Yeah, uh, so that was our partnership beyond business. And uh, before that percent, during that activation, the natural care uh, contribution is almost around 60%. And YTD, like uh, till date, it's around 55%. So any which way, the, we are doing a premiumization for entire category. So thank you. Yeah. Any questions? Thank you very much. And uh, uh, let's put our hands together for Jay Mehta and Mandar Shinde, Abhishek and Chintan. We move on to our next uh, team, Tata Soulful Oats and Reliance Retail, Makaran Konher, uh, Key Account Manager Food, Starter Consumer Products and Anand Singh, Category Manager Breakfast, Reliance Retail. Over to Makaran Konher and Anand Singh. Uh, hi, myself Makran, uh, representing Tata Consumer Products. Hi, good evening. I'm Anand. I'm from Reliance Retail. Uh, we are here to discuss the launch of Tata Soulful Masala Oats in Reliance. Uh, to give you a brief about the uh, about the industry, the industry is 200 uh, 200 crores, growing at 22 percent. Uh, present across 1.7 outlet 1.7 lakh outlets, and majorly dominated by a single brand with almost 90 percent share. The issue in the product. Uh, as an industry, uh, as an industry is the stickiness of the product. So to uh, address the key pain point of stickiness and continuing the uh, soulful legacy of millets, we present to you a Tata Soulful Masala Oats uh, Plus. Uh, the plus indicates the additional 25% millets in the product. We launched the product in uh, four different vari uh, four different variants, uh, out of which two are present nationally and to cater the regional preferences. We took a 360 degree approach uh, for the launch. We launched the product in both our smart, uh, smart uh, brick and mortar stores as well as Geomart. We also incorporated Milk Basket in this launch. Uh, for ease of operations and for better on-shelf availability, the product is launched with, an on uh, with the shelf-ready packaging. Uh, we, uh, during the launch phase, executed uh, 
power wings end caps and uh, arch gates uh, and all the top stores uh, supported with ex uh, exclusive promoters and extensive sampling we also done a special penetration drive where we place this product on the cash till to drive up the consumption and also got the product in our uh, breakfast mela so the overall launch was it was an exclusive launch with reliance we started with 1500 odd stores and uh, in 400 odd cities so going ahead right now the numbers are close to 2000 stores and 450 plus cities with availability across geomart and milk basket all this was supported with special pricing uh, exclusive promoters extensive samplings and exclusive uh, visibilities all this resulted in all india uh, share of 13.2% in the launch phase itself with the key regions like ncr punjab gujarat and uh, a uh, rest uh, telangana and all we uh, we clocked more than 15% share we also witnessed a 300 bps increase in the category share as well as the margin went up and just to mention this is just in 6 months so to give you an overall glimpse uh, this was how the executions happened across formats thank you questions thank you Any questions, judges? No? Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Let's Thank put you. a hands together for Tata Soulful and Reliance Retail, Makaran and Anand. As we move on to our next team, Tata Tea Gold and Reliance Retail, Akash Singh, Key Account Manager Beverages, Tata Consumer Products, and Gaurav Bhola, Senior Category Manager Tea and Coffee, Reliance Retail. Over to Akash and Gaurav. Good evening, all. Today, we are embarking a journey between Tata and Reliance Retail for the West Bengal's favorite brand, Tata Gold. Hi, I am, my name is Gaurav Bhola. I am representing Reliance Retail. Hi, I am Akash Singh, Key Account Manager for Tata Consumer. Yeah. So to start any activity, we need to have a very clear, defined objective for it. If our first objective was to strengthen our biggest tea brand and, and associate with the biggest retailer of India, the Reliance Retail. The second objective uh, for this activity was to increase consumption and penetration in, uh, for the West Bengal's favorite brand, Tata Tea Gold. Yeah, so when uh, we started with the, uh, what is Duga Puja in the uh, West Bengal? So we took up the Durga Puja festival to, uh, I have to just give you an idea, uh, how do you look at the Durga Puja in West Bengal? Uh, if you take uh, Diwali in Delhi or Christmas in London or a Valentine's Day in a Paris, Durga Puja is much more intense in these nine days in West Bengal. Hmm. The essence of the Durga Puja is in the emotion, in the culture of the uh, West Bengal people. And two, there is an artistic pride which West Bengal takes. takes So the art of the Bengal is the heart of the Bengal. Hmm. So we identified the 17 different art forms which we selected and after that we took it to a and we shortlisted the five art forms which will go on our packs. Hmm. So these five art forms were Dokra, Terracotta, Kaligat, Shola and a clay doll. Hmm. And they, they were the, these five prominent uh, local artists. Yeah, sorry. The, the, these were the five prominent uh, local artists with whom which we collaborated to get these uh, art forms on our pack. Hmm. So the, the art forms which we selected Ed, and uh, took the prints on the packs. So the idea was to use this festivity to increase penetration and consumption. So that festivity will give an additional chance for a consumer to get interacted with the brand and add a, another occasion of drinking tea during Diwali festival. So these were our festive packs, how it looked. Huh? So there were uh, one Tata Tea Gold original pack and we translated into different pack size. The innovation was packaging. And to take this one step ahead, uh, what do you want for? for any activity, the basis starts from a planning. And as we say, well begun is half done. 
we started the activation with VM execution. VM execution here means we used all store elements to showcase all our innovation packaging to the consumer so that they can have a better interaction with the packaging and they can use it for a better consumption pattern. Second, of course, without promotion, there is nothing uh, left in the activation. So the, we also had best in class promotion on the pack. Thirdly, we had a you know, brief state level, sales level plan after discussing among and we, you know, on the basis of sales plan, we set a background planning like MBQ and everything. Then moving forward, apart from the sales plan, we did a daily tracking, daily sales tracking, stock tracking, because without stocks, this activation will not get any success. And last but not the least, we added the additional two P's in the activation, which were people and passion. So after this wonderful activation, though the results were also mammoth. So we had a value growth, volume growth. Uh, we had uh, almost 3x of value growth. We also had 2x of volume growth. We had a premium uh, share increase by 500 bips. And moreover, the pack size which we you know, uh, penetrated was 500 gram. That has shown a fabulous growth and fabulous mix. So if you look at the, these numbers, not only the month of activation, we also you know, segregated the cascade effect in the next month as well. Not only September, October month also had got a very fabulous result with this activation. So these are some these of are the, the glimpses of the activation. So we had arch gate, which were outside the uh, stores to welcome our customers. Secondly, we have these end caps shaped as puja pandals. Third, we have Third, we have power end cap, which were category arch gate as well. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to our uh, team, Tata T Gold and Reliance Retail. We now move on to our next team, the whole truth and nature's basket. Aman Agarwal, retail head, the whole truth foods and Kaushik Ramachandran, head marketing, nature's basket. Over to Aman and Kaushik. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for being a patient audience. Um, we at Nature's Basket want to just start with a little bit of a background to our presentation. In the month of March, Amar calls me and tells me that we have a new category that we are launching into. And as a category manager, I was like intrigued and excited to know what it's about. I came to know that they are launching a dark chocolate range which was made of dates. It was India's first. Um, as a gourmet retailer, I am super excited to have this offering available to my customers. So then in the month of April, uh, he invited me to a photo shoot where I got to see the product beforehand. I got to taste the range available and it was yum. They also had uh, portion control sizes which were available in the chocolate, which was very unique. Um, we launched about six cues that were available. Um, and yeah, sure. We'll okay. Move. So now moving ahead, uh, starting with why, what, and how. So why is why we partnered with Nature's Basket? We as a young startup, small brand. Why Nature's Basket is the right fit for us? So it was a great brand fit because of strong TG correlation. NB is India's largest gourmet grocery retailer, and Whole Truth is India's first 100% clean label brand. What 100% clean label means? Uh, all the products are made of just four to five ingredients and all of them are listed on the front of the pack, right? What we did in this launch was, it was an exclusive 15-day launch where we launched India's first state sweet and dark chocolate to engage multiple customer touch points. How we did it, how we went about by designing a comprehensive and detailed 360 launch campaign with ATL and BTL activation throughout the year. <clears throat> and what? as a retailer, it's very important for me to believe in the product. So our association started, uh, you know, much before the launch point where I visited their team. I got to know the entire structure. I understood the bean to bar concept that they were promoting. So, you know, this, um, we also had like an entire t team, our top level management meeting where uh, we planned our JBP and the exclusive launch. Uh, it was something that we were really excited about. Now we'll be talking about the 360 approach that we did to launch the product. So we had a massive 360 launch campaign across all customer touch points. We activated around 90% of all Nature's Basket stores. Uh, 
If you see the entire activation was divided into in-store activations as well as out-store activations, we engaged all the touch points. We had multiple end caps, FSUs, CTUs, promoters sam doing sampling inside. Then we had outside sampling in terms of door facade, society and m mall activations, uh, print ads as well as YT ad campaign. So these are the some end cap photos. These were at the prime location in the store. Uh, these are FSU and CTU units that we had deployed. Again, CTU are a very good sale asset uh, for the brand. Uh, these are some of the door facade uh, that we had deployed, uh, mentioning India's first date sweet and dark chocolate at the stores. Um, these are the photos of society and mall activation, and these are the activation which we have we still continue to do. And this the second one is the one that we did for Chocolate Day launch uh, in Nature's Basket. These are the newspaper ads. And we yeah, also so, did. Yeah, we did social media. We do a show called Let's Talk Food, where we interview founders of the product, uh, brand. And that's where we announced uh, and went into detail so that our customer knows that there is a new launch with us. Nature's Basket is also very big on giftings, and their product very well integrated with our gifting plan. Yeah, we also ran, by the way, a YouTube ad where we targeted Nature's Basket has 19 stores in Bombay. Those are located at very uh, high-end locations across the Bombay. So we used pin codes of those 19 stores and ran this YouTube ad on those 19 pin codes to have pin code level cut targeting to the consumers. We reached around 20, 25 lakh people through this. Uh, and these are some of the results. Uh, in just three months, we had 5% market share in the block chocolate range in Nature's Basket. This number, by the way, last month is at 8%. Yeah. And this entire activation, in-store, out-store, also had a massive rub-on effect on the entire brand, where the brand sales quadrupled in just four months. And uh, that's a great number because uh, a startup brand to gain that share with us from where we are a gourmet and we keep a lot of imported chocolate uh, products. So for them to reach this stage was really commendable. Um, to summarize, I'd just like to say our partnership is all about synergy, it's about efficient uh, cooperation, executions, and speed, because the entire plan was executed in a matter of 20 days from planning, and we wanted to capture the buying cycle, so, um, you know, consistency is something that we have maintained even after the launch, and uh, we're happy to be partnered, and we're looking forward to a lot of planning for the next year, and a lot of new launches coming from your end as well. Thank you. Thank you to Anam Agarwal and uh, Tanya Mehta. Thank you so much to team The Whole Truth and Nature's Basket. We move on to our next team, which is Wind Greens and Reliance Retail. Swarnam Saxena, Head of Modern Trade at Wind Greens, and Zubin Navroji, Category Head, Processed Foods at Reliance Retail. Over to Swarnam and Zubin. Hello. Uh, to take you through uh, some of those uh, activations, initiatives which have uh, worked jointly uh, along with Wingreens on the category which is Mayonnaise. Uh, broadly speaking, those all activations what we have done is considering the uh, backward integration, uh, keeping the shoppers uh, on the first insight to go. So I can put it across like all the activations what you see in the next uh, few minutes of time are going to be uh, the insight which, I, which we got on the, on the pre-COVID as well as the post-COVID uh, period as well, right? So maybe uh, I will introduce my friend Swarnim. He uh, is with Wingreens. So along with him, there is uh, a joint partnership which we did it on the activations. Giving some of those good results could be astonishing to you, all of you. You can start with Devi. No. Uh, good evening, everyone. They say to save the best for the last. I hope the jury agrees with me. Uh, we have a short video prepared. Uh, which will talk about how we ended up getting a 3x revenue growth uh, along those lines. We can start with the AV now. For us at Reliance, the shopper is at the heart of everything what we do. Our strategies across categories, supply chain, customer experience, etc. converts to provide value to our shoppers and consumers. Last few years, we have been seeing a growing interest in Mayonnaise as a category. Not just in stores, but all across social media, even in your neighborhood, sandwich fellas, etc. With the pandemic hitting us in 2020, the need for customers to prepare delicious food 
accelerated munis consumption making it a category for many households we saw the category grow by 1.5 times in the year 20 which now is clocking at 2.5 times of the year 2021 sufficing the needs of our shoppers our strategies are based on providing solutions to our existing users as well as new consumers driving recruit packs we have been extremely bullish as far as the myo category is concerned during our conversations with reliance we realized that there is a huge potential at both ends of the spectrum one is uplifting the current customers upsizing them and second is getting new customers to look at working closely with reliance we have increased the portfolio from plain layer to flavored skews this has effectively got a large number of new customers within the category the fact that reliance stores are spreading fast across the country it is helping the category to be more relevant across different cities across the country approaching the idea of category expansion i could be methodical one just launching new products won't have yielded the results we were hoping for adjudicating the strategy needs and data showed that while 31% of the category was led by large packs only 21% was contributed by small packs at reliance For a growing category like Mayo, it provided us with a great opportunity to exponentially increase our new shopper base. Thus, we launched revenue-managed packs at attractive price points to drive penetration. At the back end, Reliance and Wingreen collaborated closely to ensure availability and distribution reaches across format, both in the store and on the geo mart also. With relentless execution and cooperation across the functions. like category marketing and supply chain we were able to achieve 2.3x revenue growth and the volumes grew by three times we not only penetrated mature markets but the growth in tier 2 tier 3 and even tier 4 towns far outperformed the metro with the sustained efforts the category share of mayo in spread has increased by 4% and now stands at 17% in 2022 This partnership has resulted in a win for all parties involved. Reliance, Wingreens, and most importantly, the shop. Reliance was under-indexed on entry-level packs as compared to heavy in-home packs. The penetration of Mayo in tier two, three, and four towns was also relatively less at Reliance. Wingreens wanted to drive penetration in a category which had heavily entrenched players, while shoppers wanted to drive new packs and new flavors. in convenient packaging at affordable prices with our 200 g and 800 g packs we were able to fulfill the aspirations of all three stakeholders launching the 200 g pack at a price index of 0.6 reduced the customer distance as much as 60 to 65% of total business now comes from non metro areas wingreens market share has also improved from 20% to 37% at reliance the collaboration between reliance retail and wingreens farms over the last two years has given great impetus to this category of european origin adapting it for the indian market i believe we have made great headways into democratizing the availability and reach of this delicious product the important part which i just wanted to bring across is this was one of those categories which people actually started knowing and recognizing specifically in the pandemic period right but no very face in our results and in our approach also that post pandemic we have seen better results even the penetrations have gone up so largely doing a backward integration in terms of understanding what could be the packs what could be the flavors even this approach good evening uh, warm welcome to you all today we are not here to present we'll tell you a story let's see if we can make you all listen to that story covid 2020 hits us what happens the grocery stores start shifting to all the atta the pulses the essential juices as a category became discretionary even the category leaders with 25 years of legacy believed were thinking whether they will invest or not but then it was one brand one retailer which believed not in selling but providing a fruit nutrition to their consumer and stood their ground let's see how it happens you know what what are these numbers 5000 is to 1 300 into 1 and 100 is to 1 this is 
actually a bet Leicester City winning an EPL tournament. This was actually the win-win bet that has happened. This is Donald Trump actually winning 300 into 1. And a brand which was third and not having the 25 years of legacy could ever be a 50% market share. That was the bet that could have been at that point of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we actually tried to do justice to this word J, B and P. Let's see how we did it. We came up with a very interesting brand proposition. If I talk about fruit juices, every doctor goes and tells a mother or a father, don't have fruit juices. You know why? Because they fal khali jiye, fruit juice madli jiye. Because there are essential fibers of a fruit juice along with vitamin C which gets missed out, which gets in the process of juicing, be it at home or in any packaged fruit beverages. We felt if you have to give some poon or a complete fruit nutrition, you have to give along with fruit juice and also the fruit fiber. That was the product innovation we got at that point of time. And obviously, the marker for fiber was a thick gara juice that consumers told us. But that was not alone. Product was ready, the insight was ready, but we needed a partner. And there came Reliance. Hi, good evening. So while one hero was there, the other hero had to encash on that. So when the story came of the brand, we thought, how do we encash that? We set very high numbers, which were shown in the previous slide, that a category, in a category which is very old and a brand which is very new, how do we take a lion's share of 50%? So we had a lot of discussions around it, and we had an annualized plan. We first made a big move where we tried to place the brand next to the leader in the category. That was a bullish call that, as a retailer, we took. We aligned the supply chain. At the back end, we had an annualized plan. We went to secondary displays in a quantum. We decided a price for full year and not only for a particular month. And that's how we came ahead and we took this. And you know one interesting thing we marketeers and we retailers never do, we don't accept our failure. So if there was a variant which was not doing well, we took it out and we accepted with humility and changed and listened to our consumers. The next one, the philosophy. Consumer centricity and celebrating choice. Why do we say so? Because when it was Be Natural, we were the pioneers in getting the first UHT treated plant with real fruit chunks. So you don't only get fruit, but you also get the fruit chunks. Next time, all of you flying back with indigo, have the Be Natural, you will get the real fruit chunks along with it. So that's also a proof of our testimony. And what it does, it gives us no preservative in a bottle. That's the first ever in a fruit beverage category that we do. We could do inclusions. Moving ahead, this were some of the execution images that we could see, which uh, Heman talked about. Then it was regular participation, timely monthly, quickly turnaround, increased product trials, and hence leading to offtake. And finally, when we are talking about category racing, sampling, SMS blast, which we sent to all the R1 consumers, because then we were not able to reach out. We had to reach out to them digitally. And what we did in Smart, we did an omni-channel approach. We did it in Geomart also, because it was, right now, there is no brick and mortar, it's an omni-channel approach. And finally, the results come. We were the number one brand, and the odds, like Donald Trump, actually we could reach, and we were a 52% market share with 4x the volume. At that point of time, this is not the result. However, we are not only proud of. You know what we are also proud of? We got 2 lakh consumers back to the category which was down. We believed in that and we got 100% growth from there. And finally, you know why this partnership and why we are presenting, what was the pride that we took? We actually did not supply products. We solved problems as partners. We did not behave as clients. We behaved as business partners. We did not negotiate on price. We actually developed joint marketing plans and we did not sell products. Ladies and gentlemen, we customized solutions with our capabilities and that's what we call, we collaborated. ITC and Be Natural and Reliance. Thank you all. Thank you very much. It's retail, that's Heyman and Ayan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that we come to the end of all the presentations. Uh, let's put our hands together for every one of the teams. Um, they say teamwork makes a dream work, and this is all about excellence and success stories scripted through teamwork, outstanding teamwork between retailers, uh, between brands and the retailers. Okay, our judges are really, really going to have a tough time shortlisting the top 10, but they are hard at work right now. We'll just have to hold on for a few minutes while we announce the top 10. We're just tabulating the results. We will be able to announce the top 10 very shortly. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, in no particular order, the top 10. And I'll request these teams to move immediately to the main ballroom because you will engage in a conversation with Mr. Damodar Mal and Ms. Anju Srivastava, the founder of Win Green. So the moment I announce the top 10, please move directly with all your belongings and bags, etc., to the main ballroom. In no particular order, please put your hands together for Be Natural and Reliance Retail, Coca-Cola and Lamarche, Coca-Cola and Geomart, Dood Mishtan Bandar, that's DMB and Smart Superstore, Hellman's Mayonnaise and Spencer's, Holix Diabetes Plus logo and Apollo Pharmacies, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last four here are Orion and Smart Bazaar, Real Fruit Power Masala Juice and Reliance Retail, Red Label Natural Care and more, and Win Greens and Reliance Retail. These are the top 10. I'm going to announce the names once again. Be Natural and Reliance Retail, Coca-Cola and Lemarche, Coca-Cola and Geomart, uh, Dood Mishtan Bandar, that's a DMB and Smart Superstore, Hellman's Mayonnaise and Spencer's, Holix Diabetes Plus logo and Apollo Pharmacies, Orion and Smart Bazaar, Real Fruit Power Masala Juice and Reliance Retail, Red Label Natural Care and more, and Wind Greens and Reliance Retail. So thank you very much because every one of the 20 odd teams have been winners. The judges have had the tough task of selecting the top 10 among all winners. So please put your hands together for yourselves. Have a lovely evening. For those of you who are not tied up with anything else, you could move across to the Privilege Lounge for a sundowner or wine and cheese brought to you by uh, Message Bird. Thank you. Good evening. God bless. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And we wish you a very fruitful day tomorrow. Thank you.